The past, the past. Have letter number 5587. March 12, 2016. Everything you are averse is related to a mistake in perception you are making. The mistake may not be all yours. Perhaps everyone who is involved in an unwanted encounter shares the brunt of lack of understanding. It is an error when hostility runs through your veins. Anything less than love is much ado about nothing. What anything less than love amounts to is folly, fantasy, heartbreak, a rash of irritation. It is a form of hunger. There is something you are starving for. We could call this a form of ego starvation. Credit to is not given to you. It is not given because you are not seen. Most everyone is pre-programmed and has his eye elsewhere. The die is set. The person before you thinks he is seeing you. He isn't seeing you. He has someone else in mind. You just happen to be here, and you fit the bill. You are paying someone else's dues. It has also been your prerogative to see someone else in front of you who reminds you of someone, consciously or subconsciously, the wicked stepmother perhaps. Pretty much you program your life with these reruns, and so you repeat yourself. There is something in your life that behooves you to come to terms with. You have been fighting the same battle for too long. You have called in a cast of characters who owe you great honor, and they haven't given it to you. Your psyche says they have to give it to you, now and for all. They owe you, and now you present the bill. Certainly, you merit being loved. You keep looking for it while you continue to push away the person before you and life itself. You read from the same old script. You fall into a trap you set for yourself. You set it for yourself, and you set it for those you perceive as against you. The perceived enemy may have a different name each time. You each play a character from an old misinterpretation. You continue to take personally what was never yours to take personally. You may feel that the past refuses to let go of you. Nevertheless, you continue to bring the present into a state of emotional fisticuffs that do not rightfully belong here. No triumph arises. So long as you see the same shadows, you hear the same calls to battle. You frustrate yourself. Yes, you replay the same movie one way or another. You are actually unstoppable, so it seems. You replay the varied versions of the same situation over and over again. You keep the same irresolution running. You don't see what's going on and how you aid and abet it. If you see yourself thwarted or mistreated time and time again, you are the one bringing it on because you are still ready for it. You have kept yourself in the exact same deprived state, and you insist that someone else fix it. There is a light that has to go on within you. You may think you have had enough. If you haven't let go of the past yet, it would seem you have not had enough. There is some old waging of a war that you have to drop. You have to drop being a victor or a victim. Those are old clothes you once wore. They no longer fit you. Your adaptation of old stuff has long been waiting to leave you. You have to let it go. It never served you except to replay the old heartache. There is something within yourself that you have to let go of. No longer be beholden to the old. For the sake of the world, let it go. Step beyond it. You are so close. You are almost here. Just one more step ahead, and then, don't turn back. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org